What we're looking at is the River Wye on Saturday the 14th of January 2023. A lot of water had fallen further on up into the uh, river's catchment and the result was a rapid rise in levels. And whenever I look at the Y, I can't help but see where the water's coming from. It's a powerful surge, impressive surge. It's a funny old thing, water. We love it, revere it, we play in it, we wash with it, cook with it, but it's threatening too. You can see this as um, it nears the level of the left bank village in Hereford. You know, it threatens businesses, it threatens homes. But whenever I look at it, I always see where the water's coming from. I can't help but do that because I've walked every single river of the Y system from source. So I wanted to take this opportunity to share with you the big hills, the wonderful valleys and the sources which feed this river system. All this water, where is it coming from? I thought to myself, well, you know, whether you're a visitor to Hereford or a Hereford resident, you'd be interested to know. Firstly, the River Wye starts up at Plinlimon or Pum Lumen in Welsh. It means five peaks. It's a beautiful source. Big deep gully up there in Mid Wales. In an actual fact, Plinlimon, Pum Lumen is the highest peak in Mid Wales at 752 metres, which is 2,468 feet. And it flows down and it's joined by the Taraneg and the Bidna. Both these rivers rise in the Pumlumen Massif. And it's a beautiful, wild, boggy area. It's not what you would call um, manicured walking around here, but it is recommended hiking. Decent off piste big hill hiking. And it's the largest watershed in Wales. In fact, it's been studied since the 1960s and has one of the most detailed records of hydrology anywhere in Europe. That's how important Plinlimon Pumlumen is to the River Wye. Further down beyond the Bidna and the Taraneg, we have the Marteg, which starts off at a place called Kragwin Luid. Strange old, strange old words, these Welsh words. And it flows through what's known as the Brondre Bower. It's a beautiful little valley. In actual fact, it's supposed to be one of the widest valleys in Wales. Latterly, it flows through Gilva, which is known as the Gilva Nature Reserve. And it's absolutely stupendous. This is where all the water, this is where all this water is coming from. And it flows into the white Pont Marteg just beyond Gilva and if you haven't been to Gilva I recommend it. It is uh, a, a beautiful expansive space to enjoy either in the summer or in the winter. <laughs> Take your pick. It's invigorating uh, from whatever angle you approach it. Further down you have the Ithon and the Ithon is a very long river and it starts up at a place called Dulva which is near Newtown in North Mid Wales. So the Ithon has a long way to flow and it's a very winding river. And it enters the um, River Wye just beyond Landridnod Wells and above Bilth Wells. So it contributes a great deal of water to the River Wye. And has, so the waters from the River Ithon have at least 70 miles to flow before they even reach Hereford. Then you have the Irvon. It's a beautiful, beautiful river, the Irvon. Starts up in the wild Cambrian mountains up on a hill called Bringawa. Very boggy, very wet. 
deep bogs, up to your knees, <laughs> high tussock grass, up to your chest. It's a fantastic area. I've hiked it all with my dear twin brother, Paul. And it flows into the Y at Bilth Wells. Then you have the big hills of Alt Mauer near Bilth and the Carnedu in between Bilth and Landridnod Wells, all feeding the Wye, all feeding these swelling waters here. And Aberedu, which is kilometres long, kilometres long and kilometres wide. Very boggy place, stores water. Having said this, a lot of these big hills, and these are big hills bordering on mountains, they have no woodland as such. So the river's rise is rapid nowadays because all the woodland over the centuries has been felled. So the runoff is quick. And if you walk these hills in the rain like I have, you can see how rapid the water runs off. There is no stopping it. And it just enters the Y in a big, big gush. It's no wonder Hereford floods so badly. Truly, it's no wonder. Further down, you have the Erdu, which is fed by the eastern, no, the westerly escarpment, in fact, westerly slopes of the Radna Forest. And some of the waters end up in uh, the River Arrow, which strangely flows into a, 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 in another direction and ends up in the Wye beyond Hereford. So all these waters have been separated out into different directions. But we're speaking of the Erdu and Landilo Hill, a massive whaleback ridge. It's called a whaleback ridge of about seven, eight kilometers long. So all the waters are coming off Landilo, heading into the Erdu and then the Y. And you have the Bahawi, which is fed by Rulin Hill and other big hills in the chain, including Landilo. Further down, you have the Black Mountains, the northwestern escarpment, Ross Dirion at 703 metres. I think, in, in actual fact, I think a little bit higher. Tumpa, otherwise known as Lord Hereford's Knob, and we all know the Hay Bluff. All of it feed the Wye. And so when I look at this river, I see all this water, I see all these magnificent big hills and these wonderful valleys and all these river systems, the sources, the drainage, the livelihoods involved. When it rains, it affects and impacts upon everyone. We need basically to design a different land system so that we can regulate water flow. But that's not what's happening right now. But it needs to be done, and I think in the future it will be done. Planting more trees so that they can suck up the water. And other measure, measures as well, because up in Plinlimon, Pumlumon, and on these big moors, uh, they've been drained in order to make way for grazing sheep. And there is a project at the moment called the Plin Limon Project, which hopes to restore these bogs, to restore these systems back to their natural health so that they can store the water rather than having them run off uh, very, very intensively grazed fields that hold no water at all. So yeah, it's a fascinating system. And we look at this river now in high spate, not thinking that it comes from all these places and a massive landmass that drains it. And on it goes. And of course, people further down the river have to, you know, deal with this mass of water, don't they? Having said this, you know, there are people here stood on the bridge now admiring this swell and it is impressive. You see all this swelling water moving down.
tons and tons per second. Yeah, it's a beautiful sight. So I'll leave you with this clip. Now that you know where the waters come from, you can view the water differently and view the wide differently. Yeah, a beautiful river system.